this is what you call an unboxing. Let's get rid of some of this packaging. If I'm gonna bring you guys the best learner content, I demanded the best kit. Now we looked around for ages and there's not one best way to rid up a learner car, so we've just gone all in. Let's see what we've got. That's all the boxes out of the way. Let's get cracking on opening them. So I've divided everything into sections. We've got mounts, cameras, audio, storage, and batteries. Let's get on with cameras first. So here's probably the most exciting. I've got a GoPro Hero 7. So it's a 12 megapixel, 4K, 60 frames per second. You can drop it in water up to 33 feet. Hopefully we won't be doing that in the car though. Let's rip this baby open. I'm gonna be really careful with it. Okay, so it's a GoPro Hero 7. We chose this because action cameras are really small. We can put them in different interesting places in the car to bring you guys the best shots. We've got loads of mounts so that we can put them in places like seat belts underneath the pedals so you can see what we're doing. Actually, it comes with mounts charger, battery, and obviously the camera on top. This one's got the hyper smooth on it, stabilization, so that when we're going over bumps, lumps in the road, falling into potholes, still gonna give you a really smooth picture on the drive that we're doing. It looks really smart. Let's get it out of the housing. Okay, so GoPro clearly think that we're gonna be filming turtles, but that will soon turn into fast cars. No way, it won't be fast cars. Fast no, cars yeah. Let's move on to the next camera. So here we've got not one, not two, but three GoPro Hero 3s. These are the black edition. We chose the Hero 3 because they're slightly cheaper. The GoPro 7 is going to be the main camera that's pointing at me, but these ones we can point in more precarious positions, like on top of the roof or maybe behind the pedals so it won't be too bad if they get broken, damaged, or even stolen. Let's unbox it. How'd you get into it? <laughs> How do you actually get in? Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. I think I've got it there. Let's take the whole thing out. So, there's the Hero. Comes in the case for underwater. There's the battery. We've got some mounts in here. Charger, Wi-Fi remote, some more mounts. That's for the Wi-Fi remote. A GoPro keyring, that's useful for my keys. Manual, won't need that. And some more mounts. Great. So the Hero 3 is still really great quality. Obviously not as good as the Hero 7, but it means that we can mount them in dangerous places. I'm gonna have so much fun with these cameras. I'm gonna put them everywhere so that you can see exactly what the learner sees, exactly what I see from my passenger side. What a gadget. Here's the charger for it, mounts, battery. Hero 3, done. So, join me in future videos to find out all of the cool places I can find to mount all of my new GoPros. Let's move on to audio. Okay, this one is the Rode Video Micro Compact On Camera Microphone. We're gonna use this with the GoPros to plug into them so that when we're in the car, you can get some much crisper, cleaner audio. Compact on-camera microphone. It's got a warranty, great, because we might drop it. No batteries required, compact size, and the rest is in Chinese. Anyone wanna translate that? Okay, sure it says the same. Let's open it. Scissors. Okay, here it is. So, what have we got? This is a suspension mount so that when they're bouncing around in the car, you won't get a thud, thud, thud on the audio. Jack cable, instructions, and this is the microphone. So, there it is. We've got a dead cat as well, so that if we're doing windows down or someone's talking very close to it, you're not gonna hear the air. Okay, next, we have two lav mics. Got one on already, we use these all the time. They're amazing to record what you're saying. So they go really close to you, they can isolate your sound. So when you're in a really big place, like a convention hall, like London Motor Show, when I was at the London Motor Show, I used one of these, so I could get really good, clean, crisp audio. We've got two, so when I have a learner in the car, they can have good audio as well. Let's open it up. 
Nice Cali pouch. Thanks, Road. Instructions. Do not eat. I wonder if anyone's actually eating this. Do you reckon? If you've eaten this, comment below. Let me know how it went. Clamp, bag, and mic. Let's open the next one. Boxes on these are really easy to get into. Right, let's get these side by side. Instructions, don't need it. Mic, lunch, clamp, rip. Velcro in it, great. My shoes come undone, spares. So here, we've got some adapters and extenders for the cables. More audio kit. And another one. All right, Tascam DR10L microlinear PCM recorder with lavalier microphone. So these are what we're gonna use for lav recording. We're gonna plug these into them. They're great for weddings. Lots of people that do wedding videos use these. They record audio at two levels. Let's have a look inside. So here's the main unit. It's really small, really compact, really good. I used to use another one of these, which was a lot bigger. Great, love a wire, haven't got enough of those already. Okay, so we've got the portable recorder. Here's the lab mic, and we've got a charging cable. Normal micro USB, great, can never have too many of those. For the lab, we also have a clip to clip it to your clothes. And look at this really neat carry case that they've provided us with. Tascam on the front, so I know what's inside it. I'm gonna keep everything nice and safe inside there, so I don't lose any bits underneath the seat. Great. So we've done the main bits, that's the cameras and the audio. Let's go on to the mounts. These are gonna be really important as well because they're gonna help us position the cameras so that you get the best view inside the car. So here's an interesting one. If anyone drives past my car while I'm wearing this, Instagram me the photo and you win 10 points. This one is a head mount. It's really difficult to get out of the packet. How this works is, unfold it, GoPro mounts onto the front. I wear it on my head and it gives you a point of view shot of exactly what I'm looking at. Best meme wins, go. I'll be mainly using this when I wanna show you what I'm doing, what I'm looking at and what's happening on the steering wheel, dashboard and other controls in the car. Okay, next we have Two boxes, suction cup mounts. Let's get the other one. So these are gonna be super useful. They're gonna help me mount cameras to the windows. Look at how strong that is. I reckon I could go down the motorway or even do some track days with the one of these attached. Who wants to see some track days? Comment below. Okay, so this one's the super strong iShox suction mount. I've heard too many stories of suction mounts coming off at high speed. Obviously, you've got the really, really, really big ones that have three pads, much bigger than this, but they're gonna take ages to set up, take off. What I want to do is have one of these so that I can quickly get someone in the car, bang a camera on top and set off driving so that we can bring you content really quickly. So these are the TomTom Tom dashboard mount discs. We're going to use them, probably not for TomToms. We're gonna to use them for suction mounts so that we can mount cameras to rough and hard surfaces. They're adhesive on the back so we can stick them to the dashboard and then put the suction mount on top and then put the camera on top of that. Got some more tethers, they're adhesive on the back. They tie onto the camera so if a camera does come loose and flies off, we can retrieve it. So next, handlebar mount. So let's say you're riding your bike, motorbike, and you wanna get some cool action shots. You would use one of these. I don't have a motorbike in my car and I don't have handlebars in the car. That would be weird. What I do have is a steering wheel. What I'm gonna do is attach this mount to the steering wheel. So the steering wheel camera is either gonna be facing me, so you can see me like this, or it's gonna be facing the road. Just another way to bring you guys really interesting shots, really interesting video. It's a wheel backpack clip. My idea for this was seatbelt. Other idea for this is sun visor. Small rig multifunctional crab clamped arm. Now this is for clamping onto things like foot pedals or so that you can see the foot pedals. Again, we can use this for the sun visor. So for the GoPros, we'll be able to put them onto anything like a tripod or anything else that has a quarter inch screw. Okay, so we've gone through all of the ways that we're gonna rig up the cars. We've gone through so many mounts. We've got so many different options. Let's move on to storage. 
We've got lots of different options. It's great to have lots of different sizes. Two, four, six, eight cards. So we're never gonna run out of storage. Over here as well, we've got a Seagate Backups Plus Slim, one terabyte of storage. This looks like a really nice, sleek hard drive. We've got loads of hard drive space, but we'll be using a lot of these memory cards in the car. We don't want them to get broken, so we also have a King of Flash memory card case. These keep them secure, these keep them from getting broken, damaged. Imagine you've done even 10 minutes of filming, drop a memory card and corrupt the data. So we'll stick each card in there, has its own slot, keeping everything nice and organized. Storage is nice and simple. Batteries. Got AA batteries and AAA batteries. Simple. We've also got the GoPro portable power pack. Other power packs are available, but obviously we've got loads of GoPro kit. Let's have the GoPro power pack. Too much plastic. So this comes with, thanks very much GoPro, two GoPro chargers. Also, the GoPro power bank. 6,000 mAh. So if the GoPro is about 1,200, we're getting about five charges on each GoPro. That's a lot of content. And we're done. That is a lot of gear. Obviously, you can still have amazing kit and film rubbish content. We're just gonna use this and all of the team at Get Licensed to film the best content for you guys with the best expertise and the best editing team. Stand by for more videos. I'm Francis the Instructor at Get Licensed HQ. This has been probably the sickest unboxing. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I read through all the comments and I'll catch you guys in the next video after a lie down.